Today's video is going to break down a nice defensive scheme for you guys in Madden NFL 16. Uh, what's up guys, my name is Cody, and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at some really cool things we can do on the defensive side of the ball uh, this season uh, in Madden 16. We're going to be utilizing the New England Patriots defensive playbook, and um, I really am excited to bring this to you because... Uh, it's going to, you know, this is a lab book, but this formation will be found in New England. Uh, it can be found in others as well, but it's the Dime 1 for 6 formation. And uh, the play we want to come out in for our base play, um, it's the Overload 3 pl 3 Press, but that's not actually what we're going to use for our base play. It's actually what we're going to use for our Zone Blitz, uh, but we want to come out in it so that we access it. Um, the play we want to use for our base play is the Cover 2 sink and what I like about this play is you get that man bump on the outside with the yellows over the middle so what we want to do here is we want to base a line we want to press coverage we want to shift our defensive line to the right side of the screen we want to crash them to the left and then we want to pinch our linebackers that's going to be the same setup for every single play that we run here from this set and what I like to do is I like to take um, this guy Ben uh, this slot corner here and I like to man him up on Jericho Cotri and uh, then I like to take uh, Shaq Thompson here, and if I think it's a situation where they're going to pass the ball, I'll man him up on Greg Olson, so it's going to be a really locked down coverage. And then uh, normally I'll use her, uh, normally I'll bring Luke Keekley off the line of scrimmage here and use her, so this is really what the front looks like. And it's a pretty dominant pass coverage, in my opinion, uh, with the man and the yellows. And uh, the pressure's not too shabby, as you can see it uh, come in there. So that's really the base play. Um, we'll show you how it does against the run real quick. we got a base inside zone. So baseline press, shift line to the right, crash line to the left, pinch your linebackers, and then uh, just take Luke Keekly off here. And uh, in situation for inside zone, just kind of come up, muddy the water. It's got a really good balance, and we just totally whiffed on two tackles there. It's got a really good balance to the formation. Uh, and what I mean by that is it's it's wide and out. It's very uh, wide based. What I like to do in, and also is kind of bring these safeties down a little bit to kind of bring them into the into the argument against the run. But what you're going to see here is they can't bounce this inside zone. Most people like to bounce the inside zone. They're going to be forced to run it up the middle, and it's going to contain it. It's not going to shame it. It's not going to shut it down. It's not a run defense, but it's a uh, it's a base play. So. So anyways, guys, that's the cover to sink, and that's the base. Uh, we like to kind of sit in this, you know, most of the game. Um, and this is a little preview of what we're going to give you for our uh, our uh, our blitz breakdown here. As you can see, Keekly will come in free. Uh, it wasn't a quite a, it wasn't really a good example. Let me see if I can show that again. This is a little preview of tomorrow's video, which you're going to get to see. Um, and we'll get to break this down for you guys. But anyway, what you're going to get is some nice A-gap pressure for tomorrow. So can't wait to break that down to you. So make sure you come back tomorrow watch tomorrow's video.